guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. <laughs> Excuse the bonnet, but today is my off day. It's Sunday, and I've had a very long week. I really didn't feel like doing my hair today, but today's video is my boxy charm box review. Um, let's see what we got here. I have It Superhero Mascara. Lash changing power brush wraps every lash from base to tip for super volume, super lit, super elastic stretch. I'm looking forward to trying this because I got the uh, Better Than Sex Mascara in a boxy charm box and I love it. So I'm looking forward to see how well this works. Also have this Cover FX palette. Perfector face palette and it has a highlighter in here. Two highlighters actually. Huh. I like that. And it also has a contour cream, a blush, a finishing powder, and a brightener. I'm not sure what the brightener can be used for. It. Um yeah, so to testing this. I also have Mata, two brushes, powder and soft glow, excellent for wet and dry product. Um, the powder brush, you can use it to pat translucent powder onto the face. And the soft glow brush is for the high points of the face, I guess, like the cheekbones where you use your highlighter and stuff. Um, I have a Lift Off Pure Flying Pill Off Mask in here that I'm going to test out. And I also have a Orza, Orza? Orza Beauty Lip Gloss. So. Alright, let's get started with the test. Alright, so this Wander Beauty Lift Off Purifying and Brightness Peel Off Mask says to smooth the even layer all over face, avoiding the eye area. Wait 10 to 15 minutes for mask to completely dry so you peel off from the edges. Lift Off can also be used to spot treat, spot treat around the nose or T-zone area. So I've never used the Peel Off Mask before, I mean I've used like masks where you let it get hard on your face and then you like wash it off so I've never look at the color of that that's looks like a highlighter so I mean this alone actually retails for $34 and I only paid $21 for my box of charm box so that's a plus in my mind earlier this morning so I'm sure that you're not supposed to use this unless your face is already clean. Alright, so I have this all over my face. I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes just to see if it's dry, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put a thin layer on or a thick layer, it doesn't really specify, so I will be back. So I have six minutes left, I can feel the mask getting a little bit stiff. It also has a nice cool tingly feel like cucumber, so I'm going 
Let us see if I can peel off after 10 minutes or do I have to wait for an additional five? So I will be right back. And I'm very tired today, so if my eyes look really heavy, it's because I am tired, so <laughs> yeah. I actually think I need to wait five more minutes because I touch here and it's still like not all the way dry. I may have put a little bit too much on, so we'll see. Time's up. Okay, let's see the moment of truth. This reminds me of those days where we will put glue, <laughs> glue on our hands and peel it off. It look like our skin is coming off. This. So weird. My face is coming off. Oh my god. too much. I think I made it too thick because I'm having a tough time getting it off on this side. So I'm gonna do this side and I'll be back. I feel about that because I ended up having to use some molecular water to get like off my face the remaining and I would suggest don't put it by your eyebrows because I saw a piece of my hair on there or when I had it here by my hairline it was a hairline is pieces of hair. So keep it away from your hairline. Keep it away from your eyebrows. My face does feel soft. I guess you just have to make sure that your when you apply it that it's even so it doesn't like you know. But yeah, I guess. Next product. Superhero Elastic Stretch Mascara. Let's see what they're talking about with this. This mirror from this freaking palette I just got. This is what the wand looks like. Let's see. I'm only going to do one eye so you can see the difference but I think I like this one better than the better than sex mascara because it looks more natural wow be using these and next product to say that that mascara um retails at $24 and I got my box for $21 so in my eyes it's a win-win this lip gloss retails at $14.99 says you can wear it alone or you can 
wear it as a topper to your lipstick. Today I'm just going to try it out by itself to see if I even like the color. Yeah, this is a pretty shimmery color. So I think it'll look really cute on top of a lipstick. For an added shimmer or sparkle if you have like a matte lipstick. Actually, I'm gonna test that. Now, hold on. Alright, I kind of like this book by itself, that's why I haven't even learned it. So let's see what it looks like with some gloss. I guess it's okay, but not with this shade of lipstick. Maybe with the red. Yeah, but I think I'm gonna take this pink lipstick back because I don't like it. Next product, I'm gonna be using my Mara Muda, Mara, whatever it's called, brushes. And I'm also gonna test this contour how I like it. Alright, so let's see. I'm going to test even one of the highlighters to see which one I like. Super this one. I don't like this brush. It seems like it's too fluffy. You gotta like really get it in there for to make it. You know, I'm about to use my other highlight brush. Okay. Stop this contour palette. Cause you know how that is when they send people of color. This one actually looks like it's my skin tone. I don't know if you can see that there. So that's a bonus. Okay, hold on. The highlighter is pretty. Both of them are pretty. The shade of blush, I don't have one this dark. I like it. It's not too extra. As for the brightening and the finishing powder, I'm not too sure. I probably would have to use those two in the full face, but it's alright. I mean, the highlighters will probably show up better on the full face as well, but so far I'm liking what I see. So that completes today's review on my Boxy Charm Boxy Rose palette. And I appreciate you guys watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Hit that like button. Hit that bell. Also subscribe to my Instagram. I will post the link to my page below. Thanks for watching. Bye.